Hi there, I'm Farmer Brad and welcome to our YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing this bee garden, raised garden bed provided by Dripworks. Check out dripworks.com for all of your garden irrigation needs. Now let's get into this. This is a very compact box, but the raised bed is a uh, pretty nice size. Now we're headed not too far away from full, so I'm going to be putting it next to this brick wall. I'm hoping that the uh, sun rays will warm this up and uh, keep this area a little warm so that that can extend our growing season in the fall. So let's get this unboxed. Let me show you how this is boxed. This is very uh, nice uh, packaging. They have all the round pieces together. And this is metal, really good quality. So there's the round pieces. Here's the straight pieces. Here's the middle supports that tie it all together. And here's the rubber edging that uh, keeps you away from the sharp edges. And here is a complete guide provided by Dripworks. A start your gardening journey. And then here's all the hardware. The thing I like about this is that it's customizable. So you can put it in various configurations. I'm going to put it in the configuration of it just being a big oval and as long as possible so I can get as much area here. Now today we won't be filling it up with uh, dirt because uh, I'm going to have to find some compost in our clean out some stalls and don't quite have enough time to do that today on today's video but we're going to be assembling this and uh, showing you the process. So the first step is remove the protective film. So there's a little protective film coating on here. So now we have all of the pieces with the film off. We have all the pieces with the film off. Hi, go. Now to look in the instructions and see what we need to do next. So based off of the pieces that we have, we should have no problem building the six and one. So it's six and a half feet long and two feet wide, which will work perfect for the space. Then once we get it built, we'll remove the, the mulch around it and then we'll end up cutting the landscape fabric so that we can have access to the soil. Then we'll put some compost in the bottom of it and build that up and then put a couple bags of pro mix in the top to plant in. Uh, but this will be a great size for this area. So in here is the hardware kit. It comes with the bolts, washer, and a tool to tighten it. So here's the tool to tighten it. And here are the support pieces, which uh, I need to double check to see at what height they should go in. So it looks like at one, height they should go uh, the second one down to help tie this all together so it goes the uh, smooth on the outside then it goes the washer and then you can tighten it down And then you do this a whole bunch of times. So I got the top and the bottom fastened, and then I'll go ahead and put the uh, other ones in.
as you can see if you wanted it more of a square you could then uh, put one of these here and have it uh, be more more square but in this case I'm doing it rectangle so now is the time to put in these rods so in this case it will be the second one down and and it looks like in some configurations too uh, if you're going to do a square you can screw them together And it does recommend putting a washer on the other side, just like everything else. Now since I already have this one tightened down, I will get a Phillips screwdriver in order to tighten that and thread it into the rod. And then I'll put the other one on this side once I get some more done. So here's this piece, I got that piece situated, I'm gonna connect these final two sections together and then put this rod right there and then I'll run the rubber gasket around the top and then that will be it for this video of assembling this raised garden bed. I did want to share a tip that it's best to do the top and the bottom one first and then uh, your children can uh, push on there while you're trying to tighten them with this tool on the inside. So what's nice is they uh, provided several extras and I, I pretty much used every screw spot available. But now to put the rubber gasket around the top and I'm gonna start in the back so that that way the seam is in, is in the back using another configuration it may not need the entire edging so then you can cut off the excess and just take your time going around these uh, seams that way you don't get it hooked on there improperly but it's going it's going on pretty easily Looks like I'm still going to have to cut off a little bit of it. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Farmer Brad and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Dripworks for providing this raised garden bed. And uh, check out in the description for our Dripworks discount code. Thanks for watching and take care. And now is always a great time to homestead.